final thing that we want to do is add some music. So if I go back to my home, click add music. And I have a music file. I've actually bought this one from Audio Jungle. And what we probably find is it's not quite long enough. So what I, I would do now is go to the music tools. Actually, you'll go to the video tools. There is somewhere. Here we go. Fit the project. So I'm going to project. Fit to music. And what that does is it just shrinks the project down very, very slightly so that it all fits together. So if I start this at the beginning now, and actually let me just save it before we go any further. We'll call this uh, Learn Piano Online. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, the only slight problem there was this very last caption. So what I'm going to have to do is zoom in, zoom in. We have a caption there which is really, really short. Okay, so I'm happy for this to go on longer than the music. I want that to be there for 10 seconds. Okay, so at the end we get this. Okay. So all in all, we've now got a video. I'll save this. And all we would need to do now is um, we could publish the movie. And I can either uh, publish it straight out to YouTube. I can save it if I want to. Um, at, you can see I can save it at 1080. I can save it just for computer use, for DVD use, for phones.
but what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to publish it straight out to YouTube. So I can either come to this menu, Publish Movie to YouTube, or from the Home navigation, I can just click YouTube. And uh, it's got different sizes. I'm going to stick with my 720. That's all we need. So that's going to go away now and do its thing. Okay, so I ask you to log in. Okay, so I've signed in here and it's asking for some information. Title, Learn Piano Online. It wants a description. Now remember I said you start the description. Anything goes to YouTube with the URL. You can learn piano online dot com. Uh, I'm going to say learn piano online like a pro. Category is educational. We're telling someone about education and we're going to make it public. Okay. Clicking publish. Okay, we're just waiting for it to say publish. Ah, tags we missed. Learn piano online. Uh, learn to play piano and piano lessons there we go now I click publish and it goes away and does its thing so we'll come back to that uh, later on I'll upload the finished version into the um, members area so just having a quick recap okay where are we There we go. So we looked just there at Windows Live Movie Maker. This is the application that you can get for free for working under a Windows operating system on your typical PC. Uh, it works under Windows 7 as you've just seen. It also works under Windows Vista and I believe there is a version for Windows XP as well if you're still using that. Um, it doesn't need a powerful PC to run on. It doesn't need anything fancy. It literally just needs you to uh, be willing to put the effort in. Um, you see, it maybe wasn't quite as straightforward as Animoto. It wasn't just a case of click on the image and let Animoto do its thing. You had to think about it a bit more. You had to be a little bit more creative. But the flip side of that is that you had the opportunity to be more creative. Um, you have no choice in Animoto. You do it their way. Yes, you can spotlight some of the images to make them last a bit longer. You can say whether it's half speed, normal speed, or double speed. Um, but that's about it. So there is more flexibility here. Um, it allows you to now um, time it to be exactly the same length as your music. It allows you to put more text on the screen if you want to. There's other things that you can do, like you can make scrolling credits and once it's finished publishing to YouTube I will show you that. Um, so you, if you are using some royalty free music or images where you have to credit the authors you could have credits just roll up your screen like you would see on any uh, Hollywood blockbuster. Um, as long as you remember once you've done that to finish with a nice prominent URL in the middle of the screen. iMovie does exactly the same. The only real difference is that it's on a Mac, and quite honestly it looks a bit cooler. But then I think all Mac soft software looks cooler than PC software. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll flip back, and let's just see how it's getting on. So this is publishing it to YouTube now. As soon as that's finished, we'll be able to go into the YouTube account and see that.
Okay, a few more percent. Upload complete. Brilliant. It's been published. Let's go and watch it online. Okay, takes a few minutes to publish, but you can see we're in YouTube. It's there. I haven't had to do anything other than I had to have um, a YouTube account. So if you don't have a YouTube account, you'd need to create one, but it doesn't cost anything. So you can see here, all I've got is the URL in the category. But that's fine. People can click on it. And you can see, they can see that. They come into this page, they can click straight on there and go to that link. Refresh it. No, nothing there. It's going to take a few minutes. But um, by the time this, um, by the time you're watching this online, I will put a link straight to this video. You'll be able to watch it straight away. So coming back in, just to have a look at a few of the other features. One of the things that you can do is you can set a whole theme. So. That's just a pan and zoom theme, it's just moving things around. We can have this one that's just adding all the fades. This one will add something, make it a bit more cinematic. So this is so you don't have to go through and add all of the individual pan and uh, the, the pans and the zooms and the fades and things like that. You could literally just say, I want this. And now everything will be there for you. Okay, I've probably picked not the best one, but uh, let's try that one. Some of them is adding a different slide at the beginning. Uh, can make the whole thing sepia. Okay, just taking a bit of time to think about these. But the great thing is, as long as you've saved it, you can always come back to your original one. So play around with it, get familiar with everything that it can do, try some of these different effects. Like I say, you can add credits on the end, so who the director is, who it starred, what the location was, and uh, it formats these all for you, and does a pretty good job, to be honest.